Oh, I'm going to have to wait for my slides to come up. Uh, <laughs> I'm Emma, hello. I'm the Regulatory Affairs Manager here at Monzo. Um, today I'm going to... Ah, here we go. I'm going to talk to you about uh, navigating the regulatory environment, but I had a bit of a change of heart yesterday um, because actually this talk is about appreciating our regulators, but uh, the lovely team <laughs> had already printed all the leaflets, so I've had a, a uh, title uh, change. But I'm really excited to be here today because I really love my job. I love what we're doing here at Monzo, um, and I regularly bore people at, at the pub with this talk. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited about having a captive audience here today. Um, you might recognize Bingo here. I'm going I'm to tell you a quick story. Um, so our regulators uh, came to visit. This is not unusual. They come to visit all the time. Uh, they come to speak about business strategy, uh, see what's going on. Um, Anyway, I went down to meet them in reception, and I bring them up, and everyone's wearing jeans, and the office is full of bean bags. They meet Bingo on the way, um, and I take them up into the meeting room, and there's a big um, product uh, customer flow diagram on the wall that's covered in post-it notes. And, um, and Tom's gone off to get a cup of coffee, and they, they comment, oh, isn't this well thought through? Uh, and the meeting starts, and um, they start discussing our, our revenue lines, our revenue streams, and how, um, how each one is changing. And Tom quickly pulls up our Looker dashboard, which is where we keep all of our data, and he's able to, to talk through each one in detail. Um, so why am I telling you this? Well, the jeans, the beanbags, the dogs, they all represent that Monzo doesn't really fit into the banking norms. And, um, and it's the job of, of me and my team and everyone that engages with the regulator to give them confidence confidence in what we're doing. And uh, the diagrams, the post-it notes, they all they represent that we do things differently, but we do it well. And Tom and his ninja looker skills, um, it shows that our leaders are well informed. Uh, I'm not feeding him that information. I'm not training him for this meeting. Um, he is truly running this company. And um, it's, it's our engagement with regulators that gives them confidence. We take them on our journey. We're transparent with them and we share, um, we share how we're growing as a bank, a technology-focused but customer-centric bank. So who are they? Who are our regulators? What do they do? And why do we need to give them confidence? So the Financial Conduct Authority, you might have heard of them. The key word here is conduct. Conduct means that they're looking at our day-to-day -day activities and behaviors. So for Monzo, that means, it means our products. It means looking at our customer flows. It means uh, looking at how we're testing customer eligibility for overdrafts, our customer operations, our, our technology resilience. Um, and the FCA actually uh, supervise 58,000 firms. <laughs> so they're quite busy. Uh, a number of those will be sole traders, but um, they are busy bees. Uh, and uh, secondly, the Prudential Regulation Authority. Now, they're part of the Bank of England, and Susan was just telling you earlier about our banking license and that we are accountable to them. Um, the key word here is prudential, and it's not often a word used in day-to-day um, -day language, so I got the di dictionary definition. I'm going to read it. So it's involving or showing care and forethought, especially in business. It comes from the word prudent and is on the pattern of words of evidential. So to me, that's, that's how you make decisions. It's managing risks effectively, ensuring the sustainability of our business. Um, but for Monzo, it's, it's our capital. Do we have enough capital uh, to continue uh, operating the business? Um, it's sustainability. Do we have a viable business plan? Um, how, what is our journey to profitability? Are we managing our risks effectively? Uh, so they actually... Um, supervise 1,500 firms, so they are uh, very busy too. Uh, there is some overlap between the two regulators, uh, so the FCA will be looking at the intricacies of our, our products, but our products make up our business plan, so which the um, PRA care about. So there's lots of overlap when we have meetings with them and um, talk through. Now, um, both regulators have what we call statutory objectives, and they're just objectives that are written into the law. So uh, for the purpose of today, I've just combined them and simplified them. Um, now, the PRA have two, uh, two objectives, to promote 
the safety and soundness of firms and promote effective competition. And the FCA um, have three, to provide appropriate protection for customers, uh, to promote and enhance the integrity of the market, and to promote effective competition. Now, I want to talk about this competition one a little bit, because it's really important to Monzo. Monzo is challenging a market that has, for a long time, been dominated by bigger banks. And this objective for both regulators means that they are supporting that disruption. They want a competitive market. Um, so that's good news for us. Um, and there's a big thumbs up for that. Uh, some of the work they've been doing um, to promote this competition is uh, something called the New Bank Startup Unit, which is something that Monzo went through to become au authorized. Um, and you may have heard of sandboxes. They create regulatory sandboxes. It's kind of a pre-production environment, uh, but for regulation. So um, companies can go in and test products and see how um, regulation affects it. So well, what about these other three? So uh, appropriate protection for customers. You may have heard of treating customers fairly. Well, that's great, because we are good at making products that customers like. Um, we are good at considering customers, and we are very customer-centric. So big thumbs up there. Uh, promoting the safety and soundness of firms. Um, so we are aiming to be a profitable and sustainable business. Um, we're just not quite there yet, but we want the same thing. So a big thumbs up there. There's a theme here. Uh, ensuring the integrity of the market. So integrity of the market is a little bit harder to describe. It's a little less tangible, but what it means is what Susan was talking about. It means governance. It means having resilient technology. Uh, it means being transparent. It means complying with the regulation. Um, and we try to do all those things. So um, big thumbs up here. What I'm trying to say is that we have common goals with our regulators, and we're working closely with them on our journey. Uh, so we've talked a little bit about um, being customer-centric, uh, our journey to profitability, um, following the rules, being transparent, and competition. We are the competition. Um, but what might we be doing that is causing them some concern? So Monzo is going very fast. We launch products fast. We launch new products all the time. Um, and as we grow, that growth uh, has a bigger impact on the regulator's objectives should something core to Monzo's business go wrong under their supervision. So it's important to note that they want the same things. They want us to be successful. And what we're aiming for is this. So how, how do we get there? Well, as a basis, we have a great product. We have resilient technology. Uh, we're controlled in our launches. We manage our risks effectively. But secondly, o over the top of all of that, we engage with our regulators. We're transparent with them. We take them on our journey, and we tell them our story. Um, so this is me and my team on a daily basis. Uh, we, um, we're transparent with them. We give them confidence, and we try to alleviate their concerns. So um, oh, I've gone too early. Sorry. Uh, so the day-to-day -day of uh, of engaging with our regulators is telling them about launching products. It's talking them through customer journeys. It's answering their questions. Um, it's letting them know about incidents. It's you know we we keep them in almost real time <laughs> updates um, when something does go uh, a bit wrong at Monzo, um, and we invite them for in-depth discussions with our team. I should add that everyone at Monzo is doing the work to um, operate in a regulated environment. And um, my team, uh, we're just facilitating this message. Um, so I said um, uh, in my little introduction that I would um, answer the question of why our relationship is key to Monzo's success. So to do that, um, I've taken a little uh, quote from the SEA's website. Uh, so they say, we are responsible for regulating a sector which plays a crucial role in the lives of everyone in the UK and without which the modern economy could not function. We are authorised with our banking licence to operate in this sector, and we couldn't continue on our mission to make money work for everyone without that. And this part here, the critical role of the lives in the UK, oh, critical role in the lives of everyone in the UK, this is really important because this is why the sector 
is heavily regulated and why our relationship with our regulator is so important. So a couple of points to end on. We work closely with our regulators on our journey and aim to give them confidence. Monzo and its regulators have common objectives. We want the same things they want us to be successful too. And this, relation, this relationship helps us to navigate the regulated environment and continue on our mission to make money work for everyone. Uh, I'm hiring too, we're very busy. <laughs> um, so if anything has been of interest today, please do go onto our Monzo Careers website. I've absolutely smashed through it with five minutes left, gosh. Uh, <laughs> um, I think Gary will be on next, but he might be a few minutes. Thank you, everyone.